Hello friends! If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a Fainery subscriber, welcome back and thank you for the patronage. I really do appreciate it. Today I'm going to be talking about Jehovah's Witnesses and the faithful and discreet slave. Not much else I need to say, so let's get on with the video. Every time I think they cannot get any more ridiculous, I am surprised because they get more ridiculous. This is just a parable. It has nothing to do with Jesus appointing a slave in the future. It is a parable like the wheat and the tares. But obviously, I am going to give this more consideration than it deserves because I am making a video on it. And I want the Jehovah's Witnesses watching to know exactly why this is so ridiculous. Watchtower uses the parable of the faithful and discreet slave to justify that God appointed the governing body in 1919 to lead his people. I've already examined how they came to 1919, and it is ridiculous, so let's focus on the slave. By the way, there was no governing body in 1919. For decades, the organization taught that the slave included all anointed witnesses. But in 2009, the governing body started making statements to increase their own power. At the 2012 annual meeting, the governing body announced that they alone composed the slave. Such claims have grave implications. Witnesses are convinced that God reveals the Bible through the governing body, thus affecting what witnesses believe concerning doctrine, history, and the future, as well as their actions regarding morality and family. Their quote-unquote truth changes whenever Watchtower changes its interpretation of the Bible. In the Bible, God makes it clear to recognize people he had chosen to use through miracles and gifts of the Spirit. Does Watchtower manifest any of these signs? Let's take a closer look. According to the Bible, the people God chooses can work miracles. Now, I haven't gone through their entire history, but if Watchtower had worked a miracle, I'm sure we all would have heard about it by now. In addition, the Bible tells us that God makes his prophet's words come true. Watchtower has yet to have a prophecy come true. Despite all this, Watchtower claims to have God's backing, making unsubstantiated claims without any legitimate basis. In the March 1st, 1981 Watchtower, they list their quote-unquote credentials. These include Noah's wife, David's Israelite warriors, dwellers in center of the earth, eagles, etc. Will somebody please explain to me how any of this points to the Jehovah's Witnesses, let alone the governing body? The governing body effectively says, because Jesus has appointed us, you can trust us. Citation needed. How does the governing body know that Jesus appointed them? It's not enough for the governing body to say, trust us. They must prove their trustworthiness just like anybody else and thus far they have not. Furthermore, 
in Watchtower July 15, 2013, they now declare that Jesus did not appoint them over all his belongings in 1919, just over the domestics. So, if they were wrong before, what makes them think they're any less wrong now? Not only does Watchtower turn this parable into a prophecy, which is not what it's all about, they have repeatedly changed who the slave is. Originally, Russell taught that the 144,000 were the collective slave. Then Russell was declared the slave after his death in a letter from his wife. Then it was Jesus plus the 144,000. Then it went back to the 144,000. And now it is only the governing body. Well, friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, press the subscribe button, and if you would like to know when I come out with new content, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. My Twitter, Discord, email, and PayPal links are in the description, along with the source that I used for this video. Remember, I am now taking requests. You can leave those in the comment section, or you can email me or you can DM me on Twitter. If you would like to support this channel, you may do so on my PayPal link. Question everything and never be afraid. Here are a couple of videos from my library. If you have not watched them yet, go ahead and watch them and tell me what you think. Please leave comments in the comment section. I love hearing from you. Until next time, friends. Goodbye.